So the, the first one's thalidomide. You probably have heard about the horrible birth defects that thalidomide caused uh, 50 plus years ago. Originally uh, designed as a mis anti-miscarriage. Well, it was originally designed as anti-nausea for, um, for pregnant women. Um, so the thought was that it could help them with their I nausea, see. but it ended up causing horrible birth defects. Um, children were born without limbs. And so it was taken off the market. But then about 20 years later, researchers figured out that it could be effective for leprosy. So it's FDA approved for leprosy. And then what's crazy is that shortly thereafter, it got FDA approval for multiple myeloma, a rare or somewhat rare um, hematologic blood cancer. And the reason that it can work for leprosy and multiple myeloma, and also the reason that it causes birth defects is it has um, a major anti-angiogenic effect. So it, it reduces blood vessel growth. So in the same way that you need blood vessel growth to grow limbs, um, you also need blood vessels uh, or you need uh, or over uh, uh, production or, or increased blood flow for multiple myeloma cells to survive um, and, and also in leprosy. And